Who wins in a fight, Luis J. Gomez or Shane Gillis? Luis J. Gomez is like, never was cool when he was a kid, now desperately trying to be as a 40-year-old. So he's picked up martial arts at 40 years old. Um, so he'd probably win that. Even though Gillis is way bigger, I still think he would win. He's done some training, right? He's also one of those guys that, you know, I became friends with a fighter, so now I have to prove myself to them because I'm gay. You know what I mean? That's what certain people do as well. They become friends with a fighter, like like Luis J. Gomez did with Bisping, and now they have to just take up training and take a fight to, like, show how tough... Like, you know when Oscar Willis started hanging around Dan Hooker? It's like this weird thing that they do to try and fit in with them. It's really strange. Whereas the fighter's probably like, okay, and... Did you see the Jesse on Fire video of him listening to AI Connor's voice note and thinking it's real? No, I didn't see that. No. <laughs> that sounds funny as fuck, though. But it'll never be funnier than the Jesse on Fire stand-up comedy routine that he did. <laughs> Little guy. Thank you for the $5. Impression of Anshul Jubilee and Casey O'Neill getting it on. I don't know if I can redeem it's hurt. Hey, I'm just happy I'm getting attention. I'm so glad. Thank you for the $2, JT O'Neill. 